Good morning, or welcome. It's too early to be doing this. I agree. I don't agree. It's never too early for trivia. It's a good thing to wake up to. Uh, now I'm going to hit turn. Please help. I don't know if I can help, but if I can, I will. Um, how's everyone doing today? Hello, Taiwan John. How's it going? It's Monday. The best day of the week, the first day of the week, the day of joy and happiness for everyone. Um, starting work week, always good. Hi, Sir Haru. Indeed. Monday, my dudes, it is. And we've got another day of uh, nice wet hair. It's not that wet compared to other times it's been wet, but it is a bit wet today. I'm going to bed after this. That's valid. That's valid. Wake up. Trivia. Back to bed. You just close your eyes and listen to my soothing voice in the background. It might um, help you go back to sleep, maybe. Maybe not, though. Uh, hello, Rubber Mage. Rubber Mage? Rubber Mage CH? So many pronunciations of every word. There's no way I could ever get them right. 801. So today, money price what? Today, money price what indeed? Having some wine and frozen fruit. That's a good way to start the day. Or I imagine it's not the beginning of the day where you are. I've been at work an hour. Yeah, I've been, I've been at work. I've been working for an hour, technically before this, um, which is good. Hello, Casey. Yeah, it's um, it's all interesting starting in the morning with our global community of people in Wales and Holiday. That's nice. Our other host, Joe, was just in Wales and Holiday. And um, he was, what was he doing? Well, lots of walks and things. Um, Guten Tag. 5 p.m. in Australia. That's cool, Australia's good. That means, yeah, Australia time difference is pretty brutally different to ours. Uh, I've always noticed, never tried to do any international stuff for people in Australia. Sir, you're happy. Am I happy? Maybe, maybe. Uh, good morning, Prince Kumar. I'm basically my download is watching Fime and Sam. Fime and Sam is peak children's entertainment. I remember watching Fime and Sam. 12.30 p.m. in Sri Lanka. So many people from so many places. Um, your super cute, gorgeous eyes, they smile. Thank you. I'm flattered, very flattered. Um, what else am I doing today? I have 8.30 to 5.30 today. My lunch is 1.30, 2.30 and hungry already. Our lunch policy is you can have lunch between 11.30 and 2, wherever you want. So if I'm really hungry, I can eat lunch at 11.30. But also, I can just eat, eat money, eat food when I want here. Tom, I'm in Arizona. It's one of my birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, it's just your birthday. It's Tom, I'm happy birthday. You've hit it now. You've hit it now. Shout out here for... From Saul. Is that right? Saul Tan Kudar. I cannot pronounce that. Welcome. So many. So much global stuff. And Canada. Um, Fireman Sam is the best I'd say. What's a Solero policy? You can eat Soleros when you want. My curly hair looks like fire. That's good. Fire is in cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, want to see right? 80, 87 people. There's some morning trivia. Um, do I have my rules in front of me? I do. I do. Um, E.G. Vickers of the rhymes. Is it a rhyme or saying? Um, Need to move to England, it's only studs for a 21 year old and gorgeous accents. We we have many accents, I'll say that, many accents across across the spectrum of the country. Um, right. Start time, so time of start trivia, question ready, number one. It is literally now the start time of trivia, so we've got welcome to more trivia, our morning wake up and win show where you can wake up and win. Uh, it's very easy, it's very quick. There's five questions, 
Um, it takes maybe about 10 more minutes to go. And the quicker you answer, the more points you get. The points you get, the more you get at the leaderboards. And today, it's the pop prize, which means that if you get over 30,000 points, you will get a split of our £25 prize money, which will be paid out next week. And we will update our winner's graphic and in-app thing after this show, probably later on today. Um, today, we don't have any coffee sponsors, unfortunately. Um, I do have... Um, a coffee question though because it didn't feel right to go ahead without a coffee question but next week i believe we may have some more sponsors we're speaking to now but no coffee coffee sponsor has gone i still have their coffee here though which i can still smell joe is telling me it looked weird us smelling a bag but actually there's like holes in the bag here where the coffee smell comes through which i didn't explain so it probably just looked like i was i was smelling just smelling a bag right question number one it's about my favourite, um, my favourite Sherlock Holmes book. It is uh, The Hound of Baskervilles, a very, very famous book about a hound and um, where Sherlock goes to find out what this hound's doing. Is it eating? Is it killing people? But my question is, um, this novel is primarily set in which area of Britain? Is it Snowdonia, Dartmoor, or Yorkshire. That wasn't a Yorkshire accent, that was a West Country accent, unfortunately. Gripping Tale, it's an alright one, isn't it? They made quite a few films. Sorry, then. Coffeeless. Um, Tim likes sniffing things from bags. No, no. Smelling coffee from bags. Uh, 14k. What? 14k? Is that possible? Um, the great thing is, of course, Dartmoor. Um, the scary, scary Dartmoor. 54 people getting that right. Uh, it's 11 for Zonia, 31 for Yorkshire. Um, yeah, Hound of Baskervilles creeps the Dartmoor Moors. Is it the Dartmoor Moors? I think it is. Um, well done to everyone who got that right. Uh, Death of the Moors, but which ones though? Yeah, it's the Dartmoor Moors. York they are the Yorkshire Moors as well, aren't they actually? My favourite as well. Yeah, it's good. Right. Um, question number two. It is science and it's pH. When I went to school, uh, I used to get, I used to, have to learn what pH was and identify different things that were different pHs. But what in chemistry does pH stand for? Is it potential hydrogen, pure helium, or phased hydrogen? It is one of those. I didn't actually know this. I was quite surprised I read this one because I didn't, I didn't know it. Uh, I thought I would do though. Um, pH-ish fish. That's how fish should be spelt, if you ask me. Um, the correct answer is, though, potential hydrogen uh, is correct, which 50 of you got right. Well done. 23 for helium and 23 for hydrogen. Um, no, it is, in fact, the amount of hydrogen in something. Um, so, for fun facts, milk is 6.6 .6 pH. Pure water is 7. Blood is 7.35 to 7.45. And shampoo is 8. Fun facts, right, but how are we doing for leaderboards? I know what it is, just know what it stood for, but I guess you're right, that's good. Um, now cut that out in first place, followed by Urban Sombrero, followed by MH127, 1729, followed by Tim Bev, Supani, Apricots, Vinci, Frederick, and India KJ and Julius. Sorry sir, the question is incorrect. I don't think the question is incorrect, that is, is potential hydrogen. Is the correct the correct answer? Potential phase hydrogen and pure helium are not what pH stands for. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But my next question may also be right or wrong. Who knows? Let's look. Um, it's question three, which in the past and now still will be a coffee question, which is espressos. Uh, I like espressos. They're probably my favourite coffee. Um, but my question is, espresso, this word literally means sped up, to go, or pressed out. Now, there's a few, uh, a few different meanings to it. Well, there's not really, there's one. Um, it's not sped up, but an espresso should be sped up. It's not to go, but you can get it to go. But it is, in fact... Pressed out, pressed out is the correct answer. 
Uh, which 50 of you got right again. 15 for speed up and 27 to go. 50 people just smashing everything right now. Um, well done. Um, but we have two more questions left. So let's go for question number four. Slow today. We're all slow. It's, it's early in the morning. It's early in the morning. Got it wrong. That's all right. I guess it's sped because it's like prep. Yeah, I thought that. It's like forced through. I have zero points. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what I could do now. The questions maybe get easier. It's a sort of a toughie one this morning, but you need to get four-ish right to win, hopefully. Um, question number four. Uh, next question, answer three. It could be three, um, but it is Oscars. The Oscars. Um, my Probably my favorite award show there is. But my question is, who hosted this event in for the first time in 2005? Was it Steve Martin, Billy Crystal, Chris Rock? Now this answer will slap you in the face when you get it right. Um, it's not Billy Crystal or Steve Martin, but it is, in fact, the first time that Chris Rock hosted. That time, though, he didn't get slapped by Will Smith, um, which 37 of you got right. Well done. 30, 15 for Billy Crystal and 31 for Steve Martin. I can see why you might think it's not him, but it was. It is, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, didn't get slapped that time, which is good. Kind of crazy that happened still. I'm still reeling a bit from it. I don't understand how nothing happened from that. He got banned from the Oscars, didn't he? For like a bit of time. Uh, finally, says Abby Goddess. That's good. Ouchie owie. <laughs> Ouchie wowie, says Annie B. It's coming there. It's coming there. Don't worry. Uh, I'm out. So, now cut that out. Jeff Keys, Vincey, Julius, Apricots, Louis F, Mel Roy, John, John Walklone. That's right, yeah. And SJP and Moon, all already winning today. Top 10 people already winning. Um, you can just sit back. You don't need to do anything. Maybe you don't even answer the question. Um, but we have one more. A lot of people on 28 to 30. So there's more coming. Right. Last question. It's my favorite board game. Probably favorite board game there is. It's Scrabble. Uh, Scrabble is... The best game where you place numbers and letters, or just letters on a board to make words and win points, depending on how long those words are and what squares they cover. But how many squares are there on a standard Scrabble board? Is it 150, 100, or 225? Now this one, this one is a hard one. I'm not gonna lie, this is a, this is a particularly hard one. But if you know Scrabble, Maybe you know. Um, I'm wrong. It's not the best game. It might not be the best game. Well, I know. It's my... It's, it's the best game. Um, but it is, in fact... It's a massive board. Correct. It is 225 uh, spaces. Which 38 of you got right. Uh, 17 for 100 and 20 for 150. Um, yeah. It's a massive number. Uh, a checkers board and a chess board only have 64 spaces, which is only a quarter of what a Scrabble board had, which is massive. Phew, a slow five out of five. That's good, that's good. But let's see how many people have one today. It is less than 600 away. Painful, painful. Now cut that out, Apricots and Julius, Vinci and SJP. It looks like getting a clean set of answers there in very high points. Uh, SJP, Lewis F, Melroy, John, Cita, Jeff Keys, Andy H, Tim Bev, Microwave, MH1027, Josh, Joshua Papella, Welcome, Mithun, uh, Urban Sombrero, Jellybean, Dot, Annie B, Dipe, Moon, and that's it, Grizzo, and EG Vickers, just, just missing out. Slightly redeem myself with the last few questions, that's good. I will try and now send out our winner's pop-up, which you guys should get. But if you don't get it, uh, do let me know. We'll have a look into it, though. Um, well done, everyone, for playing. That was a good, good, good win. Um, and, yeah, we'll be back again later today at 3 p.m. for our next show. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. 22 winners today. Well done, all. 
Um, and yeah, your prize money will be added into your account uh, later today, probably. And um, yeah, we'll be back later on. What am I going to do now? I'm going to go and... I don't know actually what I'm going to do. Um, no pop-up. Should have got one. I don't know what's going on with these pop-ups, right? It's alright though, if you didn't get one, you also get... Urban Sombrero, do you get one now? Do you get one now? Did now it come through? Just out of curiosity. Um, congrats all, yeah. Um, maybe it's like crazy. No, that's weird. We'll look at that, we'll look at that. Uh, I might want to remember. A lot of people say they don't get them, do they actually? The crazy thing is though, I get them. So I'm we're trying to work out what the... I should get them. Why can't I see myself in the show? Oh, because I didn't answer a question, did I? So I can't actually, uh, I can't actually give myself a winner's pop up. Um, oh well, it's fine. We'll work it out. Um, if you don't get them, we've marked down all the winners anyway internally, so it's fine. Um, but thank you all for playing. Enjoy the rest of your day, and yeah, I'll be back. We'll be back later today at three p.m. <gasps> Goodbye.